Welcome to Get Busy Living with Clark Bartram. I am Clark Bartram, and I'm so excited that you're here today for the first episode of the new podcast. I've had several in the past, but this is now, here we are, and I am so happy that I can bring this to you. Now, before I get into what I want to share with you today, I got to take you on a tour of this amazing studio that we're in. I got to thank my buddy, Jim Brook from Providence Video Productions for setting up this beautiful studio. If you're not on YouTube watching this, I would highly encourage that you get on YouTube and watch it. So Jim, first of all, let me thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Jim, get a shot of you so everyone can see who my my partner is right here. Oh, he took the camera off of himself, but we're going to turn this around. His seat is is back here behind. He'll be operating the ones and twos, as they say, from that position right there. That's Jim. This is a good, good friend of mine. We've been working together now for, boy, over 20 years. I remember the first day I showed up. It wasn't in this house. It was actually at another house. And I, Jim, do you remember I actually asked you, hey, will you like do this for free? Let's do a trade. I, I wanted you to, to copy some Billy Graham tapes that I had. And I saw all of what you were doing. And this was before video really became a thing. You were doing it. You were on the cutting edge. But you remember that day? I do vaguely, yeah. Yeah, I walked into his studio, and I saw all of this great equipment, and I thought to myself, there's an opportunity to collaborate here. And throughout me being consistent, and that's what I do, I think that's the greatest asset that I possess is my persistence and consistency. We're here today, brother. We're doing this thing. So once again, thank you. Take them on a tour, if you would, of, of the facility. There's there's the overall, that's the background that you see. There's my one shot right here. So that camera is on. So what you're seeing in the background here, I'm not sure what shot we're on right now. Oh, that's me, right? We're on you. Okay. All right. So, oh, we're going around. We can't do live switching on this with the different shots. So there's a little tour right now with one of the cameras. That won't be how it is all the time, but that's a behind-the-scenes look at the studio. It's very beautiful. Now, in the background, which you'll be seeing most of the time, is the beautiful set that we have created. I ordered these beautiful comfy chairs so when I have a guest in studio, they can sit right there and we can have a great conversation. In the background, you see some stuff in the very back in the corner highlighted by a beautiful red light you'll see the batman sculpture of a movie that i did batman dead end some of you might remember me from that and then on the left there's a little weight there's some books that i wrote there's a wheaties box from a buddy of mine brad johnson super bowl champion quarterback from the tampa bay buccaneers there's a magazine cover up on the wall but we've got four cameras shooting various angles to bring you the best possible production that we can so with all of that, once again, Jim, thank you so much, brother. It's encouraging. And Jim will pop in from time to time. I'll ask a question and you'll hear his voice. He'll be sort of a co-host in addition to being the producer of this great show. So why another podcast? That's probably a question you're asking yourself, and I'm going to give you the best answer that I can. There are a lot of people out there putting out a lot of great information. I want to be one of them. I want to be one of the people that are offering you great information because I am bringing you my perspective, a unique perspective that comes from many, many years in an industry that people struggle in, fitness, right? This is how I've made my living. For the past over three decades, I've been entrenched, engulfed, and inside the fitness industry on so many levels, and I kind of have a unique understanding, not kind of, I do have a unique understanding of why people struggle and some of the things that they might be doing wrong in relation to trying to get in their healthiest body. I didn't say perfect body. I didn't say ripped body. I said healthiest body. So that is what I do. If you've never seen me before, if you stumbled onto this podcast, once again, it's called Get Busy Living with Clark Bartram. I'm Clark Bartram. I'm a 59-year-old man who's been married for 34 years to my beautiful wife, Anita. We've gotten this far, not without the struggles. Anita will be in here. We're going to be talking open and honestly about our relationship and the struggles we've had and how we are still married with the really unique 
business that I'm in. I couldn't imagine <laughs> what I put my poor wife through, and it's going to be great to hear that episode. A lot of married couples are going to get great information from that. We have two children. Our daughter Taylor is 31, as I record this episode. Our son Mitch is 27. Taylor is much like me. She is a woman who encourages women like I am a man who encourages men. So she has probably seen me over the years, the good and the bad, and decided to go on this path, or whether it was consciously or unconsciously, the impact that I had on her led her to that point, and my wife as well. Our son, Mitch, was a former college athlete. He sells solar. He teaches autistic adults. He trades stocks. I won't brag on my kids too much, but I'll hopefully have them in for some shows I grew up in Canton, Ohio, home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. My mother is still alive in a home. She, I don't know how much longer she has left. I have an older sister, Michelle, who's probably the most amazing person to ever walk planet Earth, honestly. I have an older brother, Rocco. They're from a different father. Not that that matters. I'm just really giving you a background, a very high level background on who I am so you know who you're listening to. And then I have a younger brother, Jason, who's a fire chief, a great guy. We grew up in a home where there was no father. My mother did her best to raise four children on her own, oftentimes working three days. Today, as we shoot, it's National Women's Day. And I definitely gave a shout out to my mom, my wife, my daughter, and my sister for having influence on me in my life. So with that being said, The influence that I want to have is going to be sharing my unique perspective and also bringing in guests, guests that I've had the opportunity to come across in my life, and I'm basically opening my Rolodex to you to share information with you that will hopefully help you get busy living. Now, I want to explain to you why I named this podcast Get Busy Living. First of all, I stole it directly from a movie that you probably recognize, Shawshank Redemption, which, by the way, the scenes of the prison were shot in Mansfield State Penitentiary, where I happened to spend a lot of time, not locked up, but my uncle was locked up there. So I visited Mansfield State Penitentiary many, many times. So I guess for more than just that line, get busy living, and the rest of that line is, or get busy dying. That movie has a special meaning to me, and, and I just realized it right now because I was in Mansfield State Penitentiary a lot, and I, I was actually a drug mule. I didn't even know that. I was a drug mule, Jim, at the age of probably 10 years old. I, I'll, let me share this quick story with you because it's really an interesting story. My uncle, David, was locked up in there for being a lifetime criminal. One of the best looking men I've ever seen in my entire life, honestly. Probably 6'2", 6'3". He and I looked a lot alike. I'm not saying I'm the greatest looking guy in the world, but what I'm saying is there were some similarities there, other th- similarities other than the fact that I'm 5'8", he's like 6'3". But anyway, he's locked up there, and he loved chicken in the biscuit crackers. And we would always take him chicken in the biscuit crackers. Little did I know, his girlfriend, Kathy, lined the inside of the box between the, the bag that they were in and the box. She would put drugs in there. And they would give that box to little Clark Bartram, 10-year-old Clark Bartram, and I would walk it to a trash can, and there was a man by the name of Otis in there, a big, bald, black man. I, re- I can remember seeing him in my mind right now. He would pick up the trash, and he knew that that box of chicken and the biscuits had drugs in them. So he would take that out, put it wherever he would put it. My uncle would go get strip searched on his way back in, be clean and clear. Him and Otis would connect up. And my uncle was a drug lord in prison because of me right here. So anyway, that's just one of the stories that I'll share with you that makes what I bring to you different and unique and hopefully interesting to you. But The idea of getting busy living comes from the fact that my business revolves around coaching men over the age of 50. There are a lot of busy men in this world who are over the age of 50 who put themselves on the back burner. They've raised their families. They've built businesses. They worked for companies. They've emptied trash cans. Whatever it is they did, they did it as a sacrifice of themselves in a way because they put themselves on the back burner. Many of these men that I have the fortunate 
privilege of coaching or college athletes. I've coached Heisman Trophy winners. I've coached gold medalists. I've coached billionaires and people who've been very successful in life. And for whatever reason, by the time they come to me, they've lost that physicality. They've lost that part of them, but they realized that it's never too late and that they needed a coach, a mentor, and I just happened to be the guy that got in their path as an example of what is possible if we focus and pay attention to, but more importantly than anything else, put action to the things that we say we want to do. So that's where the whole get busy living comes into play. There are so many of these men and women and and people in general who aren't living to put it in today's terms, their best life. We hear that thrown around a lot, but there's a lot to that statement. Are you living your best life? And if not, why not? Clark, I'm busy with work. I got this, I got that. I get it. But there are ways that you can have more of your life if you prioritize yourself and do the things that are necessary for you to get to where you want to go. Because here's what I'll say from experience. The men that I've seen prioritize themselves become better men for everybody in their circle. That's why my program that I have is called Maximized Man Elite. When I coach these men, it's not about getting on a treadmill and eating less calories as the first priority. What I teach is five principles, mindset, meals, movement, community is a big one, and integrity. So by the time they start working this program and I've given them this path and they work the path consistently, they become a better version of themselves for their wife, for their kids, for their employees, for their employer. And they're able to get out and live life. And I want the same thing for you. I want you to live your life, whether you're a man, woman, old, young, black, white, skinny, heavy, it doesn't matter. I want you to take information away from this podcast and apply it to your life. Because if you're not applying the information to your life and putting it into action, the information becomes stored in your brain and that's where it dies. So every guest that I bring in here, whether they're in person or on a Zoom call, I want you to really listen to this podcast with the understanding that my expectation for you as the host, as the guy that's bringing this to you, is that you take something away, that you walk away with an actionable item that helps you get busy living, that helps you get more out of your life. And we're going to have fun. We're going to laugh. We're probably going to cry. We're going to get serious. We're going to get honest. And one thing I want to share with you is my truth will be my truth. I will never hide from my truth for your feelings. I am not going to say that if if someone says something that they don't believe in God, I'm going to say I believe in God. If they say I'm, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Christian, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we can all come together. We can all agree to disagree or whatever, but take the fish and leave the bones. That's all I'm saying. If you don't like what I'm saying, it doesn't mean you shouldn't listen. It means you should listen with an open heart, an open mind, and a willingness to challenge your beliefs and listen to the things that are being offered. And if I ever bring a guest in here that is offering some service or advice, I'll play devil's advocate. I'm not always going to be a promoter of a product. I'm going to sit these people here and ask them the hard questions and vet them out for you so you can trust in the fact that when you tune in here, whether you're watching me on YouTube, which I highly recommend that you do, or you're listening to me on one of the broadcasts that it's out there, Spotify, whatever, that you know that I'm bringing you this information for the sole purpose of giving you content that will enrich your life in a way that when you put it into action, it will help you become a newer version of yourself. Not that the old version was bad, but we should all be evolving. We should all be taking off old skin and putting on new things. We should all be looking at our life in a way that is challenging ourselves to not get stuck in the norm because I believe that's why people aren't getting busy living. Now, I don't want to be too long-winded here on this. Jim, is there anything that I missed on this initial podcast here, this uh, this flagship show that you think I should share that's important for people to hear? I think you've got it, Clark. I covered it all? All right. I don't want to go too long because, look, I have coaches in my life too, and my coach said, Clark, listen, on your first show, 
All you really want to do is give people a taste of why they should subscribe, why they should listen, why they should set their notifications and all those sorts of things that you know you should be doing and just give them an understanding of who you are and why they should listen. So hopefully I've done that for you and you're going to discover so much more. Here's one thing I'm going to promise you. I will always be honest. I will always be transparent. I'm always going to show you the real because social media is full of little one inch representations that aren't always what they seem to be. They are sometimes manufactured with filters and not so honest descriptions of a life. I want to let you inside mine to the point where you realize I'm no better you're no worse and we are all in this together just trying to become better versions of ourselves and move forward this life so we can just be the best person we can for all of the people in our circle of influence so in closing let me just tell you i appreciate you being here so subscribe to the channel make sure you are a subscriber on whatever platform you're listening to listen share this with somebody that you think could get benefit from it because i tell you it's going to be a lot of fun I cannot wait to bring you all of this great information. So thank you for being here. And more importantly than anything else, get busy living and make it a great day.